you know, it's it's actually it's like really peaceful here this kind of this time of the morning. Let's go. Less than a year ago, I committed to pursuing the laptop lifestyle. And now here I am, digital nomad in Prague, Czechoslovakia. Goodbye, beautiful women of Prague. Goodbye, delicious food. It's time to go home. And I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about being a digital nomad. It's three o'clock in the morning. I'm about to catch a plane to Germany to get back home. And you guessed it. I wasn't asleep when my alarm went off. I haven't slept at all. Sometimes it happens when you know that you have to wake up at three o'clock in the morning. All right, so you wanna smell good. You wanna keep that skin moisturized. First tip is take care of your fucking skin um, and, and stay clean. Uh, the people of the world don't want to smell your ass. Oh yeah, let's go. All right, if you are going to travel outside the country, <laughs> this is essential. It's got <laughs> UK, EU, USA, Australia. You got to have it. There, there's nothing you can do. You got to have this bad boy. If you don't have it, um, you ain't got no power. Oh, man. I know y'all already know this one. This is the most important one. <laughs> Coffee. All right. Let's get that going. Um, take your time. For me... I've, I've found it, it works well not to rush. Let's go nice and slow. Um, you also you also might want to check on the mini fridge one last time. One last time. Too early? Yeah, it's too early. You, you want to take care of yourself. You want to eat well. You don't want to indulge in alcohol because it makes you tired. It's bad for your body. It's essentially poison. So if you eat well, then... When you do go out of the country or, you know, you're at a special party, you can throw down that and it's okay because it's not a normal thing. And you're also doing it out of necessity because if you're eating, you know, grilled chicken for every meal, you go out, out of the country, you may not be able to do that. So we asked the front desk for some to-go cups because there, there's not going to be any continental breakfast. Making me some road coffee. And since I have one pod left, let's go ahead and, uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and make one cup for here. Rock and roll. But I wanna make sure I stay hydrated. Uh, I'm kind of, you know, had to decide, am I going to um, be quiet about my escapades because I don't want the evil eye thrown at me and people's jealousy? Or am I just going to say, fuck those people and do it anyway? So fuck those people. Drink more water. I'm going to miss you, Prague. I can't wait to come back. Now, this is one of those do as I say, not as I do things. I would normally not wear shorts in a public place because, you know, your legs are, are touching stuff where other people's stuff has touched. But I just made the call this morning that, it, that I'm going to wear shorts and I'm going to just dress really comfy because it was so damn hot in Turkey. They're just going to hang out on top of my head. Sunglasses, essential. You're going to want them. Oh my God, and it's already 3.20. The car is going to pick us up at 345 for the airport, but the car is always early. And I don't like people waiting on me, so I'm going to be early. 17 Celsius. I'm assuming that's like low 60s. We're going to bump that up. Oddly enough, it... It kind of never got cold enough in this <laughs> this hotel room for me either. So this this has just been the week of being too warm to sleep. 
But if there's something wrong with that AC, I don't want them thinking I froze it up because I had it so low. I'll tell you what the problem is. The problem is the AC is there and the bed's there, but the AC is also just not blowing cold enough either. Super important is pack light. I had two of these bad boys uh, last time I went out of the country. Um, this time I downsized to only one. Um, and, and even on the way here, my briefcase was a little heavy. So I've tried to put everything I can in there. It's still, eh, it's not too bad. It's, it's definitely lighter than it was. Um, you know, I'd be reading books. Like how, how would I be able to hold this cup of coffee if I had two of these bags? Keep it simple. And remember, take it slow. Enjoy the badass dolly art. Good morning. Okay, thank you. you no, know, it's it's actually it's like really peaceful here this kind of this time of the morning. What person would just do? We we're waiting on one more person. Good morning. Good morning. Did you sleep good? Man. Yeah, I passed right out. Oh that's great. So I've had like almost six hours. Damn dude. You were up all night. I should have get to sleep. Good, you getting sleep? Hello. Not really. You butt dialed me at like 3 a.m. Hey, so thanks for letting me tag along on this trip. I think we were tagging along with you. Huh? Well, <laughs> well, I was meaning like specifically like jumping on your airport ride, but the whole trip. <gasps> oh, right, right, right. I get what you're saying. You saw the orb. That's crazy. Well, that was a quick 45 minute flight to Frankfurt, Germany. Now we wait for five hours to fly to Newark, New Jersey. I personally requested this terminal. I'm about to get out of here. So in addition to making sure you stay really hydrated, let your bank and credit card company know you're gonna be out of the country. Cause it's really fun going through customs and then having to talk to a an associate about fraudulent charges that aren't fraudulent. <laughs> <laughs>